Okay, so let's go ahead and bounce back over to uh, Rhino, and we're going to develop the second exercise, which is create a grid of points. All right. So this builds up incrementally, and this is where we're going to go. Um, we're going to work with our type hints, counters, and loops, and result. And the result is going to be that we're going to have a grid of points. Okay. So we said we're going to do this from scratch. So let's do that. I'm going to make a new file. And the first step is let's go ahead and drop in our Python component. This is under math script, Python script. All right. All right. So here's our Python component. And the first thing is let's create just a single point. Right. And let's use the input x to define where that's going to be. All right. So let's zoom in. First thing we're going to do is, if that's the um, the objective, we only need one input. So let's remove y. We also only need one output. Okay, so now our object is set up relative to how it's going to be used in Grasshopper. Let's go ahead and open up the script editor so that uh, we can uh, do the first action, which isn't to actually write any code, but we're going to write what? This is a little challenge question, so if you know what we're going to start with, go ahead and type it in the questions window. Well done. Pseudocode, right? And some of you are ahead of the game. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is write pseudocode, and then very, um, the very next thing we're going to do is ask the Python script editor to reference the Rhino script syntax. So that's also correct. Um, all right, so pseudocode, right? Um, Pretty much every time we write a script today, we're going to start by importing or import the Rhino script syntax. All right, and that just allows us to um, use the, the Rhino script methods that are a little bit more user friendly. And I'll show uh, why I think that here in a second uh, when we actually import that. Um, the next thing is that we have x coming in. x is going to be the value defining the point, uh, the point x coordinate. Right. So the next step is that we want to create a point, and we're going to use the input x for the x coordinate. Right. What that means is that y and z will be left as zero. And the last step is that we're going to um, say that Grasshopper should have access to this point coming out of A. So we're going to return the point to the output. Right? And by that I mean the output is our letter A here. Right? Not the uh, execution information, but um, the A output of the object, allowing us to uh, continue to use our point in Grasshopper. All right, so um, this is our pseudocode, right? These are our comments that are in plain English for us to understand. And the nice thing about pseudocode is if you leave it in your script and you share your file with a friend, a collaborator, a coworker, um, the pseudocode and the comments allow that person to understand exactly what you were trying to achieve. All right, so it's a really good collaboration um, uh, technique. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, execute our code. We'll type it out. So the first thing we want to do is import the Rhino script syntax. So we're going to type import, and then you'll see that there's a suggestion um, a menu for kind of smart complete of what you want to um, import. And you can either scroll down and say that you want to and find the Rhino script syntax um, word here. Or we can uh, start to type it, and it will start to um, give us a hint as to what, um, or a suggestion as to what we might want to be important. So I'm going to hit Enter once that's highlighted, Rhino script syntax. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, since that's a kind of long word and we don't want to have to retype that a few times in our script, we're going to say that the to be able to use the Rhino script syntax, we're going to say that it should be understood as RS. So this is our shortcut. So as RS, okay? So this allows us to bring in the module 
that has all the methods from RhinoScript. Right? So um, the RhinoScript, if we go to the help for RhinoScript syntax option under the help menu, the reason I said it's um, pretty user friendly is not only has it, has it been around um, for a while, so if you've been scripting inside of Rhino, you've probably been using RhinoScript already. That, that makes it uh, um, suitable for making kind of transition into uh, writing Python. Um, and I also said it's uh, user friendly because of how it works, right? So if we, and kind of what you have to supply to it. So if we go to the RhinoScript package under help, go to geometry, we said that what we want to do is add a point, right? So um, this is the help for that particular method. It adds a point to the document, document meaning the Rhino file. And we're going to say add point, so Rhino script syntax dot add point, and then we specify uh, what, where the point should be, right? These are our x, y, and or z values, right? So it gives us an example down here. Add point one two three. That'll create a point at one two three. It also gives us some suggestion as to some other methods we might want to use. All right. So um, you can select this part of the help file and copy it. Control C. And if you bring that into the editor here, you can control. You can paste it. Here we have an example of um, how to use this method. So if we were to hit test. It says ex execution completed successfully, but if I look at one, two, three, there's not anything visible here in the uh, Rhino viewport. And that's because we haven't returned the point to the output. It may be created already, but we haven't used it yet. Okay, um, so what we want to do is um, make this a little bit more specific. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we, want, we said we wanted to use the X input for the X coordinate. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to x comma zero comma zero, and now we'll be creating a point at x zero zero. The other thing I want to do is I want to store this point. So I'm going to say that this point is going to go into or be labeled as my point. So my point equals rs dot add point. So now after this uh, method has run. I now have my point, which I can return to the output. So my output is labeled A. So I'm going to say A equals my point. Okay. Hit test. We have an error, um, which is okay, because our orange component, which did not have an input, now um, is trying to run a script and so it can't complete. So the warning before now becomes an error. So in order to fix that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a slider. So let's go to params, input, number slider. And to make this object happy again, we need to, and to make it calculate the point as we expect, we need to supply a value to x. Once we do that, we're in good shape, right? So let's go ahead and edit our slider and make sure that we have a larger range that we can work with. Now if we manipulate our slider, right, our point updates. If I select this Python object that's showing the point in the viewport as green, just as if you were to create a point in Grasshopper uh, with the Grasshopper objects, right, and now the point is coming out of A. So let's take a second to um, add in some uh, panels so that we can see the result of the output, which is our execution information, as well as the output for A. So we can see what's coming out of our output. All right, so we have no errors. We have a point that's being defined by the slider and then at zero, zero for its coordinates. All right, and now we've created one point. All right. So I'm going to group this. This is edit group selection or group. It's also control G. So now we've created a single point. All right. Let's save this as our working file for the webinar. And um, 
if we've created one point, the next step is let's create a row of points, right? Okay, so um, if you have any questions, remember that if you feel free to drop them into the question window. Uh, I think that everyone's doing well with the first example, so let's um, keep forging ahead.